I'm incredibly proud of these guys up here and all the kids in my locker room and our staff and our fans for good performance. And I congratulate University of Louisville on a solid victory in a hard fought game. We'll open up to questions. Please identify yourself, your affiliation, and to whom the question is addressed. Hi, Coach, uh, Todd Harmonson with Orange County Register. Um, what did you see as the difference where you just couldn't pull away? You made some nice runs, but then they seemed to answer every time. I mean, pretty good basketball team we were up against. Um, I thought in many ways in this game we were their equal. Um, hard to say we were better than they were because of the way the game ended up, but we were a play away from winning that game. Um, so it's not easy to identify a difference. I thought that uh, you know we made a bunch of key plays, but there were you know equally many that they made. And they came out what two points ahead. Over here, thanks. Uh, Chris Visser with CBS Radio in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, coach, obviously from your demeanor and you can see with your players. Uh, was that the toughest post-game locker room you've ever walked into and ever had to speak at? No. It's tough to lose, but there's an incredible positive feeling in that locker room because of the growth in our program and in each of these young men. So. Yeah, it's hard to lose, but and it's hard to face guys who've given everything they've got and come up short. But aside from winning that game, that's about as good an outcome as you can have to lay it all on the line and be a basket short. That that's basketball. Um, we got a lot of guys who are going to play more in our program. And that's how you continue to get better, to go through games and moments like this. And while I'm sorry for a guy like Will, who's a senior, that we didn't win this game, it's hard not to look around that locker room and feel incredible pride. I've been in a lot of locker rooms at the end of the year when you don't feel that same positive feeling about the entire group that's assembled. So no, that wasn't the toughest one, but it's tough as I've ever faced in some ways because I care about these kids. And they care about every other member of our program. And that's, that's solid. Hi, Todd Harmonson from the Orange County Register again uh, for the players. Um, on that last play, you knew they were probably going to try and foul. What was your thought? Um, going into that one? Well, you know, try to get the best shot that we possibly could. You know, we had a, a quick play lined up, and, you know, unfortunately, I lost the ball. We couldn't get a timeout, and, you know, it just happens. It's basketball. It was a tough moment there. They had a foul to give that they clearly tried to give, and the foul wasn't called. I didn't want to use our last time out. And I'm not sure if Alex even knew they were trying to foul right there. I think he did. But that's an unusual situation to be in with nine seconds and a team with two fouls remaining to give. And I thought they gave that foul. Uh, yeah, Jeff Miller from the Orange County Register. Um, Coach Turner, what uh, did you think of uh, Mamadou's play, and what uh, just what what did you say to the to the guys afterward? I thought Mamadou was terrific, like he usually is. I thought the game plan that Louisville had was smart. They challenged every one of his catches, and were willing to foul and utilize all three of their biggest guys to make it hard for him to get the catches that a lot of teams have to allow because they don't have the size and depth to play him that way. 
Um, what we tried to do was get him the ball as close to the rim as possible. And a couple of the plays at the end, we were able to do that. Um, the fact that they were able to play that entire second half with that strategy and still have fouls to give at the end is a little surprising. Um, but Mamadou was good, as he always is. You know, they made some incredible plays over him. Um, Black Shears three-point play in the stretch. I mean, that's a kid who played in a national championship game. He's a national champion. He made a national champion play right there. And that's probably the difference in the game. And then what was the other part of your question? I forgot. Oh, I mean, kind of, you know, some of the same things I just said here. I mean, this, you know, I thanked these seniors for the impact they've made on our program. Um, it's hard to exaggerate what that is. I told them that they're the greatest class in our program's history because of what they accomplished through winning. And I don't think that can even be denied at all. Um, I told them, I think what I said before, that just as we experienced this pain, this emotional you know, struggle with losing in a big game that we feel like we could have won, we had, we had that happen to us in a Big West championship in a game that would have qualified us for this tournament a couple of years ago. And I felt like that helped us this year to overcome that barrier. I hope that our ability to perform and play and compete in this game today will allow us as a program to move on to greater success and be an experience we can draw on to win this game or a game like it. Uh, Rich Hammond, Orange County Register for uh, Coach Turner. You've been able to keep turnovers fairly low in recent weeks. Um, did you anticipate that might be an issue tonight, or did that kind of catch you by surprise? Playing against Louisville? Yeah, they're a pretty good turnover-creating team. Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, they're a multiple defense team. They're a team with uh, length, size, and athleticism at every position. You know, you can prepare for Louisville. I feel like we were well prepared, but as they continue to change and continue to throw different looks at you, it's hard. It's hard to handle the ball well against them. And for the most of the game we did, I haven't looked at the stat sheet to see how many turnovers we had. I thought that um, that was the difference in the game, the fact that there were so many possessions where we did not get a shot. Um, because I've gotten used to with this team, us getting good shots. And that's a big part of the reason why we've been successful coming down the stretch. Yeah, this is for Alex. Alex, here, I'm uh, to your left. Uh, David Moore with USA Today. Um, were you, did you believe you were clearly fouled on the last possession? Also, uh, how difficult is it, do you think, to walk away from this without being able to get in a, a game that was you know, pretty spirited, give and take at the end, not being able to get one last shot up? I'm not going to comment on the, you know, the foul or if it was a foul or not. You know, that's not my judgment. It's the referee's judgment. Um, but not to even get a shot up, that's on me. Being a point guard and leader of this team, I got to make sure my players or my teammates are in the right spot so we can get a shot up at that, you know, the last possession of the game, especially. Um, you know, so I take responsibility in that aspect. But in part of the, you know, if it was a foul or not, that's not for me to to judge. So, you know, but it hurts not to even get a shot up and. You know, that's my job, and I got to make sure that I can create something or for myself or especially for my teammates to try to get a shot up at that in that point in time, especially in that late in the game. Kevin Pelton, ESPN Insider. Uh, for the players, did you guys notice during the game the crowd kind of rallying behind you, and did you feed off that energy? Why don't you go ahead, Will, take that? <clears throat> yes, uh, during points in the game when they were, we were going back and forth to Louisville, um, whenever we got a bucket or a good defensive play, we could hear the crowd just erupt, and it's always good just to have the crowd behind us, especially in our first NCAA tournament game. And we've had great fans all year, and it was great to have them here tonight. Okay, one more question. Coach, have you been in a situation where um, 
you may have perhaps lost a game with a foul 90 feet from the basket with nine seconds to go in a game? I've been in a lot of games. I'm fortunate to have experienced the number of games I have, so probably, um, but not a game like this, um, obviously. <clears throat> That's a, as you can probably imagine, um, to have the game be as competitive, well played, and just as good as it was overall, to have it come down to a foul call and a non-foul call, that's a tough one, but that's basketball, that's life. And when those things don't go your way, you've got to be able to accept that and move forward and be men. Okay, thank you very much.